and I'm off. I'm about as fast as a turtle this morning. I don't know. I finally slept the last few nights. I didn't sleep. Tonight, last night I slept better, so I didn't want to get up. But I'm now on my way, and I'm not sure where I'm going next because the next shelter is four miles, which is too soon, or 16 miles, which is too far. So somewhere in between, I'll have to find a self spot. All right, well, I will check in along the trail. Maybe I'll see something else cool today. All right, so I would like to find a way to cross this without getting my feet wet. I'm gonna explore a bit and see what I can find. Well, I made it across with getting just one foot half wet, so it'll dry. But I wasn't completely soaked, so that's something. I had to take my coat off after it's getting warm, and I don't want to sweat too much in it, so... All right, here we go. So this morning for breakfast, I was not hungry. I wanted to make oatmeal, but the thought of it made me gag, so I don't know why, but there was no way I could do it. So I had a handful of granola and some nuts, which of course isn't very much. Uh, so now I'm going to try this bar, Thunderbird. He's on that coffee, it's matcha, maca. Anyway, it is no sugar added, paleo and vegan. I'll let you know how it is. So here's what it looks like. I squished it pretty bad, so hopefully it doesn't fall apart, but that's what it looks like. So the bar was really good. Um, the texture was good, I liked it a lot. I had a hard time finishing it, just because I wasn't as hungry as I thought. But I managed to finish it, because I know I need the energy. Um, but I'm hoping, after I've been hiking a few days, that, that my appetite kind of increases or something, because I haven't been eating with that much. But, we'll see. Nice view of the Piscataquis River. So I head up to the shelter because I could sit and eat and uh, I gotta check my foot. I have a, had a blister starting yesterday. It looked kind of yucky last night, so I wanted to check it out. It looked better this morning, so I thought maybe I should check it out and try and eat. It's a nice shelter, nice fire pit. There's a privy over there, very nice. Lunch day consisted of a wrap with some garden veg vegetable hummus on it and some of this fish free, um, good catch Mediterranean tuna. And then I finished off my hip peas. This was really good, I'd never had it before. I'll do a better review of it uh, coming up with Matt. We're going to review some trail food. So, since apparently if I get excited seeing the um, moose, I don't know how to press record. Oh, I can zoom in and look think I'm getting a great shot but unless you hit record you know, it doesn't work <laughs> so what do you think the chances are of me seeing another moose that I could catch on video this time uh, in the next couple days it only took me years to see the first one <laughs> what do you think I don't know we'll see looks like I'm crossing over on the beaver dam
started this right after the Kennebec River, so it was a couple miles past, I guess. I'm trying to finish my last big climb for the day. Wow, well, my last, probably only climb for the day. So today I made it 9.7. Um, I found a stealth spot and I set up. I'm, my food's soaking, cooking, uh, and then I'm gonna be heading to bed. I'm gonna figure out exactly where my next couple days will put me uh, while I'm laying down in bed in a few minutes. Uh, so let's see, Sunday day one, I made it, I started at like 3.15, 3.30 in the afternoon, made it six miles. Uh, Monday, 9.5 miles. Tuesday, nine, and today, 9.7. Um, to make it to my original destination, I would have had to been doing 12 or 13s a day. Apparently, that's not happening, so well, I'm going to make a new destination. All right, I will see you guys in the morning. I hope you all have a great night. Good morning. Coffee, coffee, coffee time. Actually, I already got everything out of my tent. And I just gotta take my tent down and then I can pack up the rest of my bag, but time for some coffee and some breakfast first. Alright, so I'm off. Um, today is Thursday. <laughs> wow, I can see how you lose track of days when you're through hiking. You barely keep track and I've only been out here since Sunday, so. The next shelter is in 6.3 and then the one after that is 13.7. So 6.3 is sort of close. 13.7 is too far for me. I wish there was something around 8 or 9. Uh, so we'll see if I stop at the first one and just call it good for the day or if I try and find a stall spot in between. I don't know. We'll see what time it is when I get there. Uh, but the next shelter is supposed to have um, Wi-Fi. Well, it doesn't have Wi-Fi, but it has service for my cell phone. So mm, we'll see. All right. Catch you down the trail. So you can take this snowmobile trail uh, into Monson. It's two miles to the right. It looks like that. Uh, and then the sign shows that it is 3.3, whoops, 3.3 miles to Highway 15, which is another way to get into Monson. So if you're through hiking, you got those two options. I don't need to go into Monson because I only got another couple days so so the one thing I will never get used to is grouse taking off they're so loud they startle me every single time I didn't even jump when I saw the moose but the grouse make me jump every time if they just stay still I never know they were there but they take off and they sound like a jet engine or something I don't know anyway <laughs> they're pretty but man they always scare me Oh, what are you gonna do? In point two, there's supposed to be a view, so I'm excited. So, I'll check in there. bridges or bridges. Look at this. Very, very cool. Doesn't take much to excite me. Ooh, look at those dark clouds over there. <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy the bridge.
one coming down. So here's a giant gully. <laughs> Tons of rocks. And up there, it's in the, that's the shelter. So it'll be interesting to see how I get there. I'm sure the trail goes around somehow. Oops, there it is. Actually, just kidding. Apparently, you do go down the gully. Because there's a tree with the blazes. So I get to climb down there. I don't know how you get up the other side yet, but let me get down there first. You get down from. Apparently, after you get down from the chasm, you come over here and you climb up over there. Yeah, that's it. Well, I made it. I'm sure it was not the most graceful, but I was trying to be careful not to put my shoulder out while I was climbing up that. Uh, and now there's a little bit more of a climb up that way to get to the shelter, but that looks reasonable. I decided to move on. I just spoke with a sobo. Well, he was flip-flopping, but he was going sobo right now. And he said, in point six more, and I checked gut hooks, uh, North Pond, he said, there's some flat spots to camp right by the pond. So I'm gonna head there. It's only point six more. It's not really enough. And uh, there's no water here, so by the pond would be good. Yeah. Made it to North Pond. It's beautiful. I can already hear the loons. I didn't see a flat spot where he said. So hopefully I can find one. <laughs> I never did find the spot that other hiker was talking about, but I did find a different spot that's flat-ish. Only I got my tent set up just fine, but laying out my sleeping pad of all stupid things. <laughs> I dislocated my shoulder and I had to get it back in while I was stuck inside the tent. <laughs> Thank goodness for Advil, because I'm going to need it. Oh man, I'll show you camp once I'm completely set up. <laughs> Gotta love it. Alright, so here's the trail going north that way. I'm just really off of the trail. But that's what I found. There's my tent. There's a nice log here. Put my sit pad down. There's the rest of my stuff I haven't put away yet because I'm going to cook some food. And then, uh, I don't know, call it night. Good morning. Time to scoot out of my tent, make some coffee, finish packing up, and hit the trail. So this is a red bar. This one's salted caramel. I've never had this one. I had a mint chocolate one a long time ago and I it was pretty good. Radiant energy deliciously delivered. We shall see. The bar was good. Pretty good. I'd say tasty. Yeah, definitely good for a bar. Um, delicious. I don't know. To me a bar can't be delicious. Delicious is a Beyond Burger with avocado on it and french fries or a yummy vegan pizza or some nachos or totally awesome vegan food truck. Those are delicious. Cowbell has a delicious vegan burger. Those things are delicious. A bar can be tasty. All right, just my opinion. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Coming up. This is pretty nice. 
Nice little view through the trees. crosses the river and you use the cable but my question is once I'm down there how do I reach the cable? I'm sort of short and I can't slide down the rock holding onto the cable because I'll kill myself plus my shoulder's still recovering well this will be interesting well I made it across without falling in just my feet are wet and they're cold oof that was cold and it was really slippery, so I'm glad I didn't put my Crocs on. I needed the grip on my shoes. So slippery. All right, I think it's up now. Six o'clock, Friday night, and I have 2.1 miles to go before I meet Matt. Uh, he's picking me up. It'll be the end of my sixth day, and I'm moving slow because my legs are tired. And today I think it's been pretty hard, um, and, but I don't know if that's just terrain or because it's the sixth day and I'm tired or what, but uh, I am gonna need my headlamp. <laughs> Hi. Check back in. It's too dark to film much, but there's some lovely bog woods out here at night. Okay, shh, don't talk. Here's how I'm celebrating my section hike of the AT. The last night did not go as planned. We didn't get home till 1 a.m. Uh, and there was no burgers and tots to be had anywhere. <laughs> so we're celebrating tonight. Beyond Burger and fries and cauliflower buffalo tots. Oh yeah, all from Cowbell, which makes great Beyond Burgers and great fries and great cauliflower tots. Yum yum! <laughs>